fly here as a bat. Can she do that? Yes. Yes. There we go. She's escaping jail. Where'd she go? Wait, King Henry. Wait, what? He's expected at work. He's dead. He can't go to work. He is a ghost. And welcome back to another episode of the History of Windenburg. So we are starting right where we left off in the last episode with Ravenna and Henry arguing. If you guys remember, in the last episode, one of the staff members told King Henry that Ravenna was sneaking out at night and that she might be having an affair. She was acting really suspicious. So Henry confronted Ravenna about it and they are still arguing. And Ravenna is of course trying to defend herself. So we're really just gonna get right into it in this episode. I was thinking that, so kings back then, they did have absolute power and that is different than our current royal family series, the main royal family series. But, well, okay, so for example, like in the real world, King Henry VIII, he beheaded a bunch of people, including two of his wives. And sometimes he didn't even really have that much of a reason to go off of when he was accusing them. And I kind of think this might be a bit similar. I think that, Henry would, I mean, like he's very convinced that Ravenna is having an affair. I mean, well, she is, but like he, he's pretty set on the fact that she is. So I think he would tell the guards to like throw her in, in prison, in jail. And I do have a little prison that I make shifted a bit here. So they're still arguing the prison. I just kind of put downstairs, yeah, like right here. I think that he is going to, okay, pretend that there are palace guards that he calls to come take her away. And like Ravenna, she can't, like she doesn't want people to know that she's a vampire. So she can't use her powers in front of a lot of people. Like I think she needs to, and she knows this, she needs to find the right moment when to act. So if there's like, oh gosh, yeah. I, I, I wish there was a bunch of guards just like kind of taking her away. Okay, pretend, oh, well, I thought she was gonna walk away, but I was gonna say, pretend that they're taking her away. I mean, which we'll see when I do a full like machinima of this, but I think that Henry will call people. So he's like, take her away. Yeah, there we go. Okay, he's like, go, go, shoo. Oh, uh, oh, and then he brought out his phone, pretend he didn't do that. Okay, Ravenna is now in the jail and I don't think she would be too worried because she can literally turn into a bat <laughs> as a vampire and pretty much just like fly through these things. And I think she knows that. She's just waiting for the right time to act. I did change the time. So now it is 12 a.m. because I think that she would know that she needs to act at night. And maybe she overhears the guards talking about her being executed in a few days. I don't know if they would do that like the next day or if they would do that in a day or two, but maybe she overhears that and she's like, oh crap, I have to act fast. Now she did plan on killing King Henry anyway. So I think she's realizing that like, this is the time to do it. Cause I don't think she's like expert level vampire yet. And maybe she can't like, if she was trying to do her mind compulsion, she couldn't do it on like a bunch of people at once yet. Also we'll, we'll age up baby Mary and also age up Princess Elizabeth in this episode, just a little bit later. So Princess Mary, she's gonna be some floating legs for a bit. Okay, but Henry is feeling confident Interesting, but he's currently sitting out on this, what is this, the balcony? I guess this is the balcony. Maybe he's thinking about stuff. I was gonna say he like swims a lot. So maybe he goes on like some nightly swims. I'm trying to think, okay, so you guys know because it's the title of this episode. Ravenna is going to kill Henry. And I was trying to think, so in the intro, the first episode in the intro, you guys saw Ravenna using her vampire powers to kind of control Henry, kind of like what we did with Caroline. Honestly, it was a that part was a bit more for show than anything else. I imagine that's how she kills him too. But I was just trying to think like, okay, well, how should we do the death in The Sims? I know there's a like a fear death, right? There's a death by fear. Oh no, I don't see. Oh, I what? Um, I thought there was like a scared to death death but I don't see it. Why did I think that? Okay, well, cause I was gonna say I could just do that. I could have her do the vampire powers and just have him die from being so scared. My other thing was like, would she like maybe throw him off the cliff, like throw him off the balcony and make it look like he fell? Or maybe she does do that. And maybe he falls in, isn't there, is not a pool, but there's like a pond or a lake, right? Oh, there is, yes, yeah. <gasps> okay, let's see. I kind of 
want to do that. So Caroline's death looked like she drowned. Henry's will also look like he drowned. That's like a that's like a throw though. Like if you if if she used her power, she'd have to like throw him to the lake. All right, cool. Okay, so oh my gosh, there's a spider. Oh my god, I was not prepared for that. Whew, okay, I knew there was a spider web. I don't know why I didn't expect to see a spider on there, but Ravenna is going to change into her vampire form now. So how do we do this? Let's see, vampire, vamp, oh, whoops, there it was. Vampire show dark form. So she knows it's the middle of the night. She knows that he's probably doing his thing out on the balcony, I don't know. Okay, Ravenna's changing. She's, ch oh God, the music's creepy. Okay, Ravenna, oh, was it, oh, is that her vampire form too? Oh. <laughs> All right, so Ravenna go here. Oh, oh. Wait, I can have, okay, sorry. Fly here as a bat. Can she do that? Yes, yes, there we go. She's escaping jail. Yee. Where'd she go? Oh, good. All right, there she is. Okay, so she's out. She's probably able to like avoid all the, uh, the, the pretend there's guards there. <laughs> she's probably able to avoid all of them. They don't realize that she's escaped. So now I could literally just have Ravenna fly up here. Like how easy is that? All right, so I'm gonna have Ravenna fly here. She's like kind of hidden. Okay, she's flying. Oh my gosh. Will it appear? Up with, oh, there we go. Yep. Okay. She has teleported as a bat. She's flown here as a bat. So I haven't played like the vampire stuff in forever. So I'm still trying to figure it all out. But all right, now Henry's up here and he'd probably be like so shocked. Well, okay. She's kind of hidden, but actually, you know what? It's just him up here. She could use her vampire powers on him. Like he'd probably, I mean, he's got to look her in the eye. So he'd probably be a little bit shocked to see her at first, but then she could immediately start using her vampire powers. What op is like, are there options we can do? Oh, not drink his blood. Oh. Okay, so it's one of the vampire powers that I have to get. So put another sim into a trance so we can do that. Okay, so now she's able to do this. Vampire, stop being on your phone, please. Okay, mesmerize, there we go. Okay, she's mesmerizing Henry. There we go. Now he's in a trance and has no idea what is going on, which is very helpful for us. Oh, one of the other ones is command too. So we should do that. When a life's pesky errands must be run, spare Ravenna's cuticles and soft ancient hands and have her command others to perform. Oh, and joyful house. Okay, well, that's not what we wanna do, but I'm, I I can use that in the future, so I'm, I'm gonna get it now. Oh my gosh, this is so, I don't think I've actually ever seen this before. This is so, so crazy. Okay, cool. He is just in, in the biggest trance. I don't actually know how long this lasts. Oh, for a while. It lasts for a while. Days, mesmerized from, from being mesmerized. Can't move, okay. Why is he feeling so flirty? Interesting. They have like the lowest relationship, but he's enamored by her. Okay, well, maybe, maybe it's her vampiric charm. So what we're gonna do is have him go into the lake. And I am actually gonna try to do this drowning thing. So pretend Ravenna has just, oh no, this way, this way. Okay, pretend Ravenna has just like thrown him into here. Ravenna's up here. So she just tossed him over. <laughs> Okay, so I'm literally just making Henry do a back float. <laughs> so it looks like he's in here, but I need to make him drown. So I think it's energy you're supposed to bring all the way down, right? Okay, I don't, I oh, I didn't cut off the way to like get in here. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's just set it. Oh, wait, no, don't swim, don't swim. Drown, there we go, drown, it's working. Oh my gosh, it worked, okay. I was not expecting it to work that quickly, but I guess that makes sense. I use the UI cheats to bring down the energy all the way. So now he has drowned. Oh, and I hear the Grim Reaper, where'd he go? Okay, there he is. All right, so Ravenna has just killed the King Henry and the Grim Reaper has a tablet, that's fine. <laughs> but Ravenna has killed King Henry. Oh gosh, it's always so weird to see them floating in the water like this. But I mean, it does look like he just drowned. Uh, same thing with Carol. Line. It looked like she just drowned too. So I don't know if they would suspect that someone did kill him, but like Ravenna can literally just fly back in prison and she they they think that she's been there the whole entire time. And I think I think she would go do that now. So let's have her do that. Okay, so Ravenna, you're gonna go fly, fly here as a bat. There you go. Pretend you were never here. This never happened. Now she's yeah, she's back in here. This whole next part I'm gonna have to talk through because I don't actually have the like I, I don't have 
I guess I should have made guards. I'll have guards in the machinima. But where's the butler? I can use the butler. Butler, where are you? There, okay, yep, there's the butler. She's just been promoted to, I don't know, being the head of the guard. So we're gonna have her go here. So maybe they've like already found King Henry's body. And maybe they do like run back to check if Ravenna is there. But like if they've been told that she's supposed to be executed in a few days, like Ravenna doesn't want that to happen. But I think Ravenna would use her like, mind compulsion. Wait, King Henry, wait, what? He's expected at work. He's dead. He can't go to work. He is a ghost. He cannot take more family leave at this time. Okay, <laughs> this job's pretty strict. What job do you have? I don't, I can't even check. He's not here. Anyway, okay. But maybe the guard comes in to check on Ravenna and, oh, whoops. We need to go to Ravenna. Oh, she's, she's not actually sad. You're not sad. You're fine. Okay, she's still angry though. <laughs> But maybe the guard comes in to check on her and let's see, command, command to be mean, command to work out, command to sit. Mm, well, let's mesmerize her first because I think, oh, she can't do anything. All right, maybe she escapes real quick. Fly here is a bat because like she's gonna do this and she doesn't wanna be seen back in jail when she does this. So maybe the guard is like, what? She's just appeared here. Vampire, mesmerize. Okay, so now Ravenna is going to mesmerize her and I think I'm pretending she's erasing like the memory that Henry had even thrown her in jail and that Henry had told them that she was gonna be executed. So we'll pretend that that's what she's doing now. And like, obviously Ravenna would have to do this on a few more guards. So pretend she does it to them too. And then dispel mesmerize. Okay, there we go, cool. And now she's like, what happened? Why are we in the prison cell? All right, so a month has now passed since King Henry passed away. And we are going to have, oh, I did not realize Princess Elizabeth was going to be at school. I think Henry is supposed to be at school, but he's not. I'm actually gonna have Elizabeth come home. She would not be at school, but Henry, oh my God, look how cute he is. Wait, hold on. He's so happy. I don't know what he's happy about, but like he's so happy right now. Confident, fireproof. Oh, his clothing is fireproof. I did not know. I don't, I did not know that was a thing, but a month has passed since King Henry passed away. So now Prince Henry is technically, he's king because he was the heir. So maintain Sim, rename Sim. So now he's King Henry II as like a six year old. Okay, so King Henry II, but of course, okay, so he's king, but Ravenna is the one who is controlling everything, making all the decisions because little Henry is a child. So Ravenna is the one who's like taken over. Oh, I don't know what outfit she's wearing. I did not choose this. Hold on. Okay, there we go. That's the outfit that I had. So that's what has kind of gone on this past month. They did mourn. They were in mourning for King Henry for show. Ravenna was doing it for show. But a month passed now and we're going, we're going to do some happy stuff now. We're going to have Princess Elizabeth age up into a teenager, Prince Derek age up into a child, and we're gonna have Princess Mary age up into a toddler. So we're about to do like three birthdays at once. I think we're gonna have the whole stuff with Arthur in the next episode, but I'll talk about it a little bit later. Okay, so now why don't we have Elizabeth age up first? I made a birthday cake. Let's see, where is it? I made a cake. It's like about to expire though. So, oh, two hours. Okay, yeah, so blow out candles. We're all gonna use this one cake. Wait, is this? Arthur? Hey, I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor. <laughs> And I appreciate your kindness and friendship. Wanna see what it is? Do we? Where are you? Um, I was going to say that Arthur's probably like, when when are you gonna go through your with your plan for Ravenna? And she's probably like, well, I can't like marry you right away because then it's gonna seem suspicious. Where is he? How do we how do we say we wanna see what he got us? Why do I feel like this is a trick? I don't know. I don't know where he is. Uh well, I guess we will find out. <laughs> okay, but we need to have Elizabeth blow out the camera. Candles. All right, so Elizabeth will be the first one to blow them out. And then we will have Prince Derek. He's gonna need help blowing them out. So I'm gonna need Ravenna to help him. And then we'll just age up Princess Mary from the bassinet. Okay, Elizabeth is about to turn into a teenager. Cause she is, if you remember, she's a good amount older than the rest of her siblings. So they're gonna stay kids and toddlers. Oh, we'll randomize. Uh, dance machine? <laughs> I feel like that doesn't quite fit. Uh, geek? Yeah, that works. Okay. And knowledge, maybe? Not computer whiz. That doesn't exist. A renaissance sim. How about that? So she has aged up and 
next, oh, she's gonna, no, 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 don't, okay. I don't know, I don't want her to eat the cake. Add birthday candles and we'll have Ravenna help Derek blow out the candles. All right, help blow out candles, Prince Derek and ignore Elizabeth's outfit and everything that will change. Okay, now she's helping Derek blow out the candles. So now he's gonna turn into a child and then Belle's gonna stay a toddler. But yeah, again, Mary's gonna age up into a toddler. Okay, then there we go. All right, Prince Derek aged up. I remember him being kind of like, uh, was, oh, was, he is Henry hot-headed, uh, little Prince Henry, um, or King Henry now? Oh gosh, that's gonna get confusing. Maybe he, he could also be hot-headed. I was gonna say mean or something like that. Let me double check. Henry is also hot-headed. They can both be hot-headed for now. Um, okay, so we're going to add more birthday. Oh, no, no, we don't actually need to add more birthday candles. We just need to age up Princess Mary in the bassinet. All right, age up. And then I'll go into create a sim after this and pick all of their outfits and everything. Okay, so Princess Mary is now aging up. Okay, oh, she's like holding a bouquet. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Independent? Sure, that works. Okay, we're gonna go, or I'm gonna go into Create a Sim and pick all their outfits, and I'll show them to you guys in a second. All right, so I've just chosen all of the kiddos that aged up. I've chosen all their outfits. By the way, someone pointed out, and I didn't even realize this, that Henry is a, the, or I'm sorry, no, not Henry, Derek that he had generated when he was born and stuff into a vampire and I didn't realize that. So I humanized him because he's not supposed to be a vampire. Same thing with Princess Mary. So yeah, they're they're not vampires. Sorry, the only one who was a vamp, uh, the only one who was a vampire was Reyna and Ravenna already killed her. Let me show you the kiddos. We have Princess Elizabeth here. I think the uh, face overlay I used for her though. It let you, oh, huh. Okay, I did not see this before. Um, you can definitely, whoa gosh. It looks like she's been put together, I don't know, sewn together, something, I don't know. I'm probably gonna change that so she might end up looking a little bit different. I just didn't realize that till now. But this is Elizabeth. And then we have Derek, who's sad and it doesn't say why, I don't know why. I picked like one of the different brown swatches for him just to have a bit of variation. But that is Prince Derek and then we have Princess Mary who, uh, not Reyna, Ravenna is, oh my gosh, <gasps> oh my gosh, look at the stare that she is giving her mother. She looks a bit evil. Okay, well, she's so, she it says she's fine. Oh no, no, okay, now she's lightened up a bit. That's okay, she, she looks less evil now. Anyway, that's Princess Mary. So the kiddos have now all aged up. Oh, and whoa, 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 hold on. There is Arthur. So he was here, we just didn't see him before. But okay, let's say this, I'm not gonna have Ravenna go talk to him, but like, let's say Arthur has been like trying to reach Ravenna. He held up his end of the deal. Now he's like waiting for Ravenna to hold up her end of the deal. But she again is saying like she doesn't want to look suspicious. She could probably like, well, I don't know. That's a lot of people. The, the, all the people would find it a little sus that she would marry someone like very, very quickly. So I think she wants to wait like a couple months, but I think Arthur would be like getting kind of impatient. So we're going to see all that happen in the next episode, but we are going to go ahead and end this episode here. Let me know your thoughts on everything. I know it was like kind of a little chaotic to try to figure out like, okay, how am I supposed to kill King Henry in the Sim stuff? And of course, it'll look a little bit different when I do the machinima. Let me know what you guys think of the kiddos. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.